Hello everyone, this is uh, Dr. Suleiman Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel, The Beauty of Mathematics. Today I will uh, discuss about the gamma function and its uh, MATLAB impl implementation and its relationship with the factorial function. For example, this is the, uh, if someone want to find the gamma of uh, a number gamma uh, for example 0 0.5 so we can write it as which is equal to uh, 1.7725 this is in the MATLAB and if someone want to find the gamma of a negative number so it is like this if one uh, want to find the, the gamma function uh, in some interval for example uh, 3.5 to uh, minus 3.5 to 3.5 so this will be the value of gamma x which is this one <coughs> So, uh, on this interval, minus 3.5 to 3.5, the value of gamma uh, function is, is this. Now, we will show the, the relationship of the gamma function with the factorial function. So, we will start from uh, clear, clear all which will clear all the data uh, from the MATLAB uh, for example we want to check the values uh, n is equal to 5 and we will start a loop where i is equal to 1 to n uh, the value of x i uh, is equal to i and the value of y uh, I which will be the factorial uh, for the for the X that can be written as product of uh, from 1 to I uh, next is the <coughs> the interval the loop should be n end and if you want to check these values that uh, oh, what are the values of x and y so we can write it as x uh, y this now we will check the values of x and its product are the uh, factorial for this we will run the program oh we see some error expression or statement is incomplete or incorrect and the error is in line 3 column 9 oh yeah we have missed some number here this is for i is equal to 1 to n yeah now click again and we have saved this program and we so we got the value of x from 1 to a, uh, n which is 5 and its corresponding uh, factorial va value the factorial of 1 is this 2 3 is 6 4 is 24 and 5 is 120 which can be we get from the uh, MATLAB command prod uh, prod 1 to i now we have to uh, uh, show this relationship uh, in the form of plot for example if we have to plot uh, these values of x and y so we can write x y uh, the color should be for example red and uh, the size is uh, line width is for example 3 so 
if we have to check it plot the graph so we can see uh, these are the, the points uh, on the graph the relationship between x and y now uh, we have to check this relationship with the uh, uh, gamma function that uh, we have to comment this and we use it later on for example i have to find the gamma function now of the x which we have proved in the previous lecture that gamma uh, gamma n plus 1 is equal to n factorial so this is a gamma x plus 1 which is equal to which will be equal to the value of x factorial and the x factorial, x factorial here is y i so now if we have to uh, find to calculate these values together so let me uh, find this in the form w is equal to we have to also draw the z over here and check the values for the n is equal to 5 so you see this is the value of x from uh, 1 to uh, 5 and these are the corresponding factorial we have find with the help of uh, product the multiplication of 1 to uh, i with i value depends from 1 to uh, n while the value of n is 5 and we have got this and similarly by using the gamma function we have got the same values so it means that gamma uh, x plus 1 is equal to x factorial which are which are in the form of y i is equal to product of this now if we want to change this for another number for example 10 so we can use uh, in the form of this so we see uh, here you can find uh, these values for any uh, number you can choose here now if we, uh, we want to show these both uh, graphically the value of uh, x y and uh, the corresponding value of the factorial uh, function so we have to show them graphically as well for example this another plot between the relationship of x and z whose color should be a little change we can see uh, and here it will be uh, hold on uh, so we can see the relationship of yeah this is the perfect match between the uh, factorial function and the gamma function and if you want to uh, change this for another number or uh, so you can replace for here n is equal to 10 20 any number and you can just uh, run the code and you will see the relationship between the uh, factorial function and the gamma function which is this one so hope uh, it will be better to you can try it by yourself Mm, while using the MATLAB and you can perform different exper uh, experiments with this code and hope you will understand the concepts. Thank you so much.